Hey, so manga hauls. I've been getting a lot of them and I've got some more stuff in today. I literally did my last manga haul about three days ago and then today I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, nearly 15 parcels turned up so I've got a whole bunch of books here. So I'm thinking I might just do a bit of a running manga haul through the coming weeks so I'm not doing a massive one at the end of the month and just, you know, taking a long time to get it done. I can kind of just stitch this all together. So the first one to arrive was Kermit Can't Communicate number 5. So I have not got number 4 yet, but I've got number 5 here. So that's good. I'm just waiting for it to turn up, hopefully soon. I pre-ordered it on the 20th of January and it's now mid-March and it's no sign of it. So I'm hoping it comes in soon. But come in number five and I'm looking forward to diving into this. This is a really good series. I did a mini review uh, a while back and I kind of went over Comey Can't Communicate and what I thought of it. So yeah, I'm excited to dive into another one. And next, Jujutsu Kaisen book number two. So this was uh, an amazing book. That first volume was really, really incredibly done. It was a lot of fun, great action and a great story. So I'm excited to dive into number two. So the first one was amazing. So I'm hoping the second one follows suit and it's just as good. So yeah, good pick up. Next, I have a few more of these lovely ladies turning up. The Quintessential Quintuplets, number three and number four. So the collection's growing nicely. I think I've already got five and six already. So they're coming in all out of order. But yeah, I'm excited to dive into these ones. A lot of, lot of praise for these, a lot of high recommend. So yeah, excited. Next, and this is just one. I've just kind of steadily growing my, my Hero Academia. I actually think I'm up to date. So this is book number 23. See on the spine there. So number 23 arrived. So I've pretty much got all of them, I think. Am I up to date? I think I am. Another good pickup. Looking forward to that one. Okay, so I've got another solo entry here. This is Hunter Hunter, book number 12. So that collection is also growing quite nicely. Once again, looking forward to diving into that. And I've finally got the third book in my Star Wars Lost Stars collection. Only three in the run. So I'm glad the third one finally turned up so I can start it at any point. I don't know when that'll be as I've got 500 mongers. But I'll get it started. Only three books, so it should be easy to knock out fairly quickly. But I have read the book, like I said, in my previous haul. I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be um, quite good. I mean, it's manga and Star Wars, so what's not to love? Awesome. Okay, so I've got the rest of my collection for Parasite. So number three has just turned up. Number five, number six, and number seven. So that is all of them now. I've already got... What have I got down there? I've got one, two, four, and eight on the shelf, so the collection has rounded itself out nicely, thank goodness. So this is a body horror alien invasion kind of a story, I think. Nothing to do with South Korea or, you know, people living in the wrong houses and the rich and the poor subculture clashing. Nothing like that. This is about monsters and body horror, so don't get it mixed up. Okay, next I've got a, a few more books part of the one collection and I finally just rounded that one out as well. I've only had one book on the shelf in this one so far and the rest all turned up today. And that is the Inyo Arsono Goodnight Pum Pum collection. So I've got book number one, book number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, nice, and number seven. So, Goodnight Pum Pum. I hear it's very, very good, very emotional, Kind of sad, hard-hitting, dramatic, but a good read. I trust in Inyo Asano. I like his work so far. He's an incredible artist and a fantastic storyteller. So I'm, I'm hearing this is a masterwork. So I've got those now in my collection. Happy days. And last but not least is the final books in my Master Keaton collection. Number four and number ten have arrived. So I've got all these bad boys on the shelf, whole collection by Naoki Urasawa, and I am so, so excited to dive into this. It's an adventure tale. Somebody said it was similar to Indiana Jones. I don't know, I haven't read it yet, but I'm super happy to get into it because, damn, this looks, it looks good. Okay, so that's just the beginning of this video. That was the 12th of March haul, so I, I guess there would be more coming, so yeah, let's have at it. Hey guys, so this happened quickly. I did the manga haul you just watched yesterday and today a whole bunch more turned up. It is March 13th, Friday the 13th 
And uh, yeah, I've got more manga to share with you. So these are just rounding out collections that I've already started. So I have got a whole bunch to show you. First up, Black Clover number 10. The collection's rounding out nicely. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six books already. Yeah, number 10's here. I don't think they're arriving in order. A few have come willy-nilly whenever they feel like. Thank you, Amazon. But number 10 is here. And book number 11, number 12, and book number 15. So, that's coming along nicely, wouldn't you say? You guys big fans of Black Clover? I hear the anime's got a bit of a, a mixed reception, so let me know about the anime down below. If it's worth checking out, I might consider reacting to it on my channel. And I know that the manga, from what I've read, is just going from strength to strength, so I'm keen to dive into that one. It looks very, very cool. So, next up is my Hunter Hunter collection. So, book number 13 has just arrived. So, number 13, and then 16 was... Was 14 and 15, I hear you ask. Good question. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So, another classic series I cannot wait to get into. My manga reading has been, so far, amazing. Everything I've picked it is just sensational. So, I'm, I'm really glad and happy about that. It would have sucked buying all these mangas and then not enjoying them. So, next I've got book 21 of Magi. Nice one. Book 23. Once again, they're just turning up whenever they feel like. And number 24. So, Magi. That's a lot of, that's a lot of books. And next, and this is a series I just kind of rounded out the purchasing today. I grabbed the Amazon app and I just ordered all the outstanding volumes I don't have yet. So, they'll be trickling in by the end of next week. But, that time I got reincarnated by a slime, number 7 has arrived. You've got to be careful with this one though. When you do order it online, there is the light novel and then there's the manga. It's very easy to order the wrong one. I almost did it a couple times. I went to order it and went, wait, that's the light novel. That's not what I want. I want the manga. So be careful if you're shopping on Amazon. It's easy to mix it up. That or I'm just stupid. Shut up. So this next one is a recommendation from that man and his manga. He seems to like it. So I decided I'm going to like it too. Raw Hero. So this is uh, an etchy one, I think. And it's about superheroes. And by the look of it, she wants to take off more than just her mask. Potentially. I don't know, but it looks cool like superheroes. And next is another one. I think it's from that man and his merch as well. I watch your channel a lot, dude. Thank you so much. You're amazing. But I watch all you guys, so I honestly can't remember where I got this one from. I think a few of you have talked about it. And that is Gigant. Yes. I think this is another Etchy one. I don't mind a little bit of etchiness in my life, honestly. If it's drawn well, then I'm happy. This channel's taken a bit of a turn. The drawings are nice. It's got good paper. So, gigant. It's, um, and she's wearing Yumi Clo. See what they did there? Yumi, Yumi Clo. It's not a real brand. Okay, and then last but not least for today's haul, and my next one will be done next week sometime when I get a, another day off, but I have collected in my hot little hands, another box set. And I've got the other box set just recently. I think it was in the last haul. I can't remember when it was. And now I've got Naratu box set number two. Look at that bad boy. It's huge, I can barely fit myself in the frame. Hey, who's the owner of this channel here? Nice, right? Stunning box. It's like uh, fairly decent heavy too. So when they, when the guy bought it out from the, behind the, the back, behind the scenes at the post office when I went to collect it, the big box had a sticker on there saying heavy. I'm like, oh no, I gotta walk home with that thing. With all these other boxes in my hand as well. So, Naratu. Apparently I'm saying it wrong. Naratu. Yeah. I say, I say things how I want. There's the inside. <clears throat> Ta-da. Just look at me poking over the top there. So, that is, um, that's a few today. I wasn't expecting them today, like I said, because I got such a haul yesterday, I didn't think they'd be arriving today, but they did, and here they are. And now, I've got to um, pack them away somehow. Do you want a brief little look of the room? Do you? It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a mess, but I'll see what I can do. All those shelves over there, full of manga, and the bottom shelf there, as you can see, is just all um, oh, I can't get any closer. That's all uh, PlayStation 2 games just down there. And I've got a nice little stack going on there. There's my Akira and Tokyo Ghoul. But, oh, let me get closer. So, I've got Batman. And then, I'm just kind of getting things on the shelf where I can. 
because damn it, it's a, it's, it's a lot. And this shelf here is the new one I recently picked up. And I've got uh, one doorman up the top there. But I'm getting everything in kind of nicely. And it's a lot of back to back. So I'm filling the shelves right on up. I've got more along there. I've got my Death Note, Master Keaton. And I'm going to start getting my Blade of the Immortal there. And then down the bottom here we've got Laid Back Camp, One Punch Man, Parasite. And behind that is Attack on Titan and Overlord. And there's just all, all my movies. A lot of movies. So, as you can see, the shelves are coming along nicely and there's a whole bunch more out in the lounge room, in our main room. I've got about four shelves on the main bookcase and they're just loaded full of JoJo's and Fruit Basket. And what else is out there? Vagabond, Monster, 20th Century Boys. So there will be more. Like I said, I went a little bit crazy on Amazon today on the, on the train home from work and last night. I just want to close out the series of starters. I'm just ordering like five volumes each like of Black Clover and Hunter Hunter and everything. I'm just, I'm just, I just want it all. So I'm ordering it all apparently. Jesus, I need an intervention. You know guys, that's the end of this segment. I'll hand it over to the next guy and he can go on a little bit more because there's obviously going to be more haul. So Take it away, Dean. Hey guys, so you're still with me. Congratulations. I know this is a bit of a long haul, but I'm just dropping these in day to day as I get my hauls. So the world has officially gone to pot. I am off work for two weeks while our store has closed down to kind of alleviate any stress with the coronavirus. Customers and team were the top priority, so we're not trading for a couple of weeks and that is yet to be determined if that's going to be extended or not, so who knows. But what that means is I've got more time for manga. So today's date is the 18th of March and yeah, I've got more. It just keeps trickling in, but you know this, right? That's why you subscribe to my channel because you know I'm a manga hoarder and you want to see what's new. So I'm going to actually unbox today's haul for you and I'm going to show you what came in the last couple of days which I couldn't wait to unbox because I just, I'm just like that. Now first up, now these arrived the other day like I said. So the first one is Magi number 22. So when I started getting these I didn't actually realize how many there was in the series. So there's a whole bunch of these. It's like nearly 35 books I think. So a lot of those on the way. Next up is Black Clover 13 and number 14. So once again, massive collection, but I'm super pumped to dive into it because I hear it's amazing. And this one is My Hero Academia number eight. Now this one got lost in the mail, it was refunded, so I've had to reorder it because it'd been a while since I actually pre-ordered this thing. All the other books had turned up that I had ordered on the same date, but not this one, it just didn't arrive. So I contacted Amazon and said, what's up? So they refunded and I've got it here now. So thank goodness. Otherwise I would have just been stuck on book seven and not been able to continue. And that would have sucked. Next is Grand Blue Dreaming number five. I hear really good things about this manga. It's meant to be really funny. And I decided to kind of just binge all my purchases and get them to me as soon as possible so that I could read them in three or four months when I finished all my other mangas. And another series I'm really excited to dive into is Children of the Wild. So book number five, book number eight, and book number nine have all turned up. So that collection is coming along nicely. Really excited about this one. I hear really good things. And just flicking through the artwork here, it is really nice. And next is the last one I received the other day. And it's kind of bigger than I expected. But I'm diving in to blame. So book number four turned up, which is kind of weird because I ordered them all at the same time. And yeah, the delivery schedule is just all over the shop. So book four has turned up way before all the other ones. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a big hefty volume too. I mean, look at the size of that. But once again, hearing good things. And flicking through the artwork. Yeah, she's nice. Bit of an action one, that one. So looking forward to it. Okay, so now I'm going to unbox these bad boys, which just turned up today. I just went down the road to get some groceries for tonight's dinner. And it was absolute chaos. Went to the butcher shop, the cabinets were literally empty, there was nothing on the shelves. They just couldn't keep up with customer demand, so filling the shelves was their top priority, but they were so busy serving, they were just cutting as they went. The produce shop I went to, there was just people lined up all around the perimeter of the store, and then I popped into the grocery store, and man, it was just... There was nothing on the shelves, I needed pasta, no pasta, pasta sauce, no pasta sauce, stock, nothing. Luckily we stocked up a few things the other week. 
So we have the ingredients there, but just getting a quick buy was just impossible. And just as well, because they had three checkouts open, and each one of them just had lines down to the rear of the store. It's just panic buying, man. And even Amazon has stopped doing most of their deliveries. They're just going to concentrate on the health essentials. So everything else is just going to be put on hiatus. So I don't know what that means for us who buy our mongers or how long it's going to be. But yeah, it looks like everything is just stopping, even online shopping, which is really weird to me because a lot of people cannot get to the supermarket. So they rely on online shopping to get their goods, but now they can't. So they've got no real choice but to go to the supermarket, but we're not meant to be going out in public and being in a crowded environment. And when you get there, there's nothing on the shelf anyway. Shit. Anyway, back to manga. So first one. I love these little zip ties they put on the front. They're amazing when they work. Okay, first book is... What do you think? What do you think it is? I know what it is. Children of the Wilds book number six. So good. I'm getting more of those. That's excellent. So that's really good. Um, with Amazon putting the brakes on deliveries, I'm, I'm glad that at least this one has turned up. Box number two. Just like Christmas. On two weeks holiday. I'm on Isocation. That's what the guys at work are calling it. We're not on isolation or vacation. Isocation. You like that? It's cool. All right. Oh, cool. So we have got Children of the Wilds book number three. As you probably can tell, I did a bit of a bin shop on this collection. I just want to kind of round out everything I have rather than just have them trickling in one at a time over the course of how many months. So yeah, bulk buy. Next. I hope it's not just another Children of the Wilds. I mean, that'll get boring because it's just the Children of the Wilds haul. What do we got? <laughs> Children of the Wales number seven. Speak of the devil. So this is all coming in nicely and I can't wait to start it now that I'm getting all the books. That's very cool. Number seven. Next. What do you think this one's going to be, guys? Children of the Wales. <laughs> we have got book number four. So that's cool. I've got most of them here now. I don't, actually, let's check. What have I got? So I've got number four here. This is perfect. So I've already got book one and two already. So now I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of Children of the Wales. What do you guys think of this series? Is it a good purchase? I hope it is because they're all here. But um, yeah, the artwork, the covers on these are just so beautiful. I mean, each one's got a character on the front. I don't know if it's the same person or not. I'm not familiar. No, different person, different hair. But each cover is just gorgeous, right? I mean, look at that. And the artwork. Yeah, it's it's good. So I'm excited to dive into this one. It's going to be... Um, so being on ice occasion, there's a lot of time for reading. So this could be actually ideal, the best time to catch up with all my manga. So that's that one. And now last but not least, we've got a big one. What is in here? Zip. Oh, nice. Okay, good. I pre-ordered this one when it was released. Downfall by Inio Asano. Love this guy. His artwork and his storytelling is just supreme. So I finally got that one. This is cool. I was waiting for this one to turn up. I saw a lot of other manga haul videos and they were reviewing this one already. I'm like, damn, where's my copy? I want it. And now I've got it. So it's basically about a guy who does manga and his series has just ended. And you have no idea how to start the next one. Your marriage is breaking up. Your pure love of manga has been destroyed by the cruel reality of the industry. And nothing seems to fill the sucking void inside you. Oh no, that sounds very bleak and depressing. But if anybody can do bleak and depressing really well, it's Inyo Asano. That's cool. So that's that. I've got a few of those in today and there's going to be more coming in. One of the benefits of being off for a couple of weeks is I can actually make it to the post office and get my parcels. Our post office only trades Monday to Friday 9 to 5 so if I'm working Monday to Friday 9 to 5 I cannot get to the post office and that's when I get into trouble with my collection like everything turns up like three or four parcels a day and then trickling into the next week I can get down there it could be anything up to like 20 parcels to collect and get home so that's better. The post office workers themselves are a little bit concerned about working because they do get very busy and everyone wants to be away and stay home. And like I said, the Amazon thing where they're putting the brakes on the delivery schedule is going to be interesting to see what happens with us who collect our manga and rely on our online shopping to get our stuff. Oh no! 
Anyway, I'm going to pause this one here and I'll get back to you in a second with the next part of this amazing massive March mongol hall. See you in a sec. Hey guys, so it is now the 20th of March and I'm going to finish up my whole video with what I collected today and yesterday. So as you can imagine, I've had a few more things turn up. So I thought I'd just round up the video and get it up to you guys because hell, I've got another week off next week. And yeah, I'm sure there'll be more stuff coming in then, so I'll just do another whole video next week, right? Well, we've got nothing else to do right now. Everyone's self-isolating with the coronavirus, so hopefully this will entertain you a little bit, providing Amazon, you know, start shipping our books to us. So I've got a lot, but the mostly just series I've already started, and I've kind of just started finishing off those collections. As you know, I want to just kind of get everything, and then I can just start reading all my books. I have started reading some, um, the smaller collections I've, I've started diving into, but these big ones like 20 to 30 books, yeah, I'm just kind of rounding them out and then I'll get started into those one day, like Battle Royale and Hunter Hunter and Magi and all that. But I've got a few here I've kind of just ordered, so I'll go through them real quick with you. So I've got The Food Wars, so I've got book number 8, book number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 on the way because it's out of print here in Australia, I couldn't get a hold of it, so I've had to order one from the States. So I'm hoping it gets here soon. But I've got number 17 in the meantime, number 18, 19, and 20. So Food Wars is another massive haul. There's a, there's a lot of books. I've got a lot of manga, man. I'm going to be able to read these for the next 20 years, honestly. And this one, like I said in my previous reactions, when I'm talking about Food Wars, is I was recommended to me from a, a friend at work. Mickey, so he said get on, I'm in a solar area, so I'm diving in. And apparently I might learn how to cook as well. Potentially. And my next is a few more in a collection I've already started. We have got book number 25, Magi, 26, 27, 28, and number 29. So once again, a, a massive collection of books, but I am really looking forward to this one because it's right up my alley, man. Adventure stories, it's just... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to diving into that one. It's going to be fun. All right, you're still with me. Nelly there, guys. Nelly there. So this is another collection I've been rounding out. And once again, really looking forward to diving into this one. This is That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, number six. Number eight. I think I've got number seven over there already. I hope. Number nine. And number ten. So like I said, when I've talked about this series before, it's just the concept just really intrigues me. And yeah, looking at the artwork is really nice as well. But yeah, being reincarnated as a slime is just... What the hell? I'm curious. Okay, and this one has just turned up today, and this is part three of Elf and Lead. So I'm still waiting for part two to turn up. These are a three-in-one omnibus, so that is cool. I like how they release all these books in a great little bundle like this. Rather than having to order, as you can see, hundreds and hundreds of books, when they do an omnibus, it's much better, because I can store it on the shelf. Although it is thick and chunky, I've got Gantz and my Astro Boy collection too, which are basically the same size, just small and chunky, so relatively easy to store. So looking forward to this one, man. It's parental advisory, so it's not for kids. Still wrapped in plastic. Bit rude. So as you saw previously, I just got book number four in this series, and so now number two has turned up of Blame. Now this is, like I said in that other haul, this is just the massive books. I mean, look at that. It's just taking up the whole screen. It's massive. But it looks cool, man. I'm not really sure about the concept. It looks like it's, um, so it looks like, like I said, in the future world, a lot of, um, cyborg action, people getting turned into, uh, robots, and there's a lot of blood and guts, as you can see here. I hope this doesn't get pulled from YouTube. But, um, yeah, fairly graphic in the detail, so... Cool. And speaking of Gantz, Omnibus number four has turned up. Once again, nice chunky little volume. Really excited to dive into this one. This is a, a pretty popular story, so I got it now. And last but not least of this March haul, well, part one of a March haul, I'm sure I'm going to do another one next week, is The Blade of the Immortal Omnibus number two. Now, I was holding off in this one because I thought, I don't really need any more samurai kind of manga. I've got Vagabond out there, which looks insanely good. But I'm hearing such amazing things about this one, I, I just decided to, um, well, why not? Why just why not? It's just another manga in my collection. So this is a fairly decent sized volume as well, so I'm going to have to find a spot for that one. But yeah, that's Blade of the Immortal. It doesn't look good. I love the cover on it. It's just, it's gorgeous. So cool. Alright, so going to wrap that up there. I um, hope you enjoyed all those, all those hauls and all those amazing mangas. There's such a massive collection out there, guys. And 
I own all of them now, apparently. I've got some more turning up next week, a few box sets I've ordered. So I've got part three of Naruto turning up and I've looked at a couple other surprises. So hopefully they turn up next week. Um, and then logistically just putting them in the, in the place somewhere will be another challenge on itself. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I hope I inspired you. Talk about manga down below, please. I want to know what you like and all that stuff. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.